Hey guys, Redstone here. So today we're going to review the uh, Monoprice MP Select Mini version 2. Um, I'm excited for this review. Now before I say this, um, I have two of these printers. Uh, Monoprice sent me both of them. Uh, and they want me to have an unbiased review. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And you might be wondering why they did send me two. Well, my first one had Series Z Wobble. And because, like, um, they just... They just said they'll send me another one, which is really cool. But, yeah, I mean, it has very bad G-wobble. You can see the lines on every single print, like, so big. It's not even funny. So, what I did was, um, Monoprice sent me this one. Um, so they actually, I actually can do a good review on it. Um, and I've got to say, this one prints a lot better. So, Let's talk about the specs of this printer. It has a build volume of 4.7 by 4.7 by 4.7. It's around there. I don't know exact build volume, but I think that's around where it is. Um, as you can see, it has a display. It's actually a pretty nice display, as you can see. It shows you the lapse time as um, a dial, and you can scroll around. It's basically like the version 1 display. But another, um, let's just talk about the upgrades between this one and the version 1. One, it looks black and it looks very sleek. Um, in real life it looks a lot better than it does in the photos. Um, on the back there's a fan. And, um, another thing is the insulated bed. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's like this insulation pad underneath the bed. And the all metal hot end, which I'm going to get uh, to a little bit later. But let's talk about what slicing software you'll use for this printer. Well, you'd be using um, anything, really. You can use Rapteer, you can use Cura, you can use whatever you want. Simplify 3D. Um, but uh, you just have to make sure that you're slicing it correctly um, and making sure it's in the size of the printer. Um, as you can see, I have coffee PLA right there. It doesn't actually smell like coffee that much, but whatever. Um... And yeah, I mean, also has a heated bed. And let's talk about that whole old metal nozzle. So basically, I have not had a clog yet, and I've been running about three filaments on here. So that's a good thing. Uh, in terms of print quality, um, it prints good, but the problem is um, the Z axis does not print that well. Oh, uh, let me show you. I have a 3D Benchy right here. Yeah, it looks good. This is actually printed on this printer. You can see all the strings, but I don't care about those. But if you look closely at the layers, you can see a little ridging on the layer lines itself. And this is unacceptable. Model price needs to fix this. And I found that there's nothing supporting that lead screw in there. I also found out that it uses a DC motor for the Z axis. What are they thinking? Yeah, I'm probably harping on a printer that costs only this much money, but seriously, why aren't they using a NEMA 17 for the Z-axis? I mean, that tells you that it's a Malian clone. I have a Malian M100 right there, and it uses the um, the little DC motor for the Z-axis. I guess if you're going to put it on an axis, it would be the Z, um, but still, it makes pretty bad layer lines. Um, so... First upgrade I'm going to do to this is change it to a NEMA 17 motor. I have a couple of them, so I'm, that's what I'm going to do. But, yeah. So, let's sum up this review. I know this is a shorter review, but there's not much to talk about. It's basically the version 1, but a couple more upgrades. Um, print quality, I would give an A. Uh, design, I would give a 9. You know, I'm not going to actually do that, but if you're interested in that, um, I'll leave a comment below. But, yeah, I mean... It's a good printer. I mean, if you want something under $250 that prints kind of small, that uh, has a heated bed, all that stuff, you can print ABS. I've actually printed ABS on this thing. It actually works pretty well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, whatever whatever you want to do. Uh, do I recommend this printer? Yes. Um, but should I, did I say you, you should buy it? No. Um... For just a hundred, what, a hundred and fifty more dollars, and when you're spending money to get a 3D printer, the CR10, that has a 300 by 300 by 400 millimeter bill volume, is just a hundred and fifty dollars more than this, and that kind of worries me. 
Um, because her, and that one prints really well. Um, yeah, I mean, for the price, you can't really go wrong with it. I mean, it's a good printer, but it kind of questions that the CR10s on the market now, and like, I just, I just compare it to that because it's crazy how cheap that printer is, how good it prints. But yeah, I mean, that's based my review of the printer. Thank you very much for, um, tuning in to this episode. Bye!